The Auxiliary is a self-managed volunteer organization. Uh, we were founded in 1958 by a group of doctors, wives, and community members. We have two components. We have our junior volunteers who range in age from 14 to 18, and our senior volunteers range in age from 18 plus. We even have some volunteers that are volunteering into their 100s. So we're very proud of our volunteers and do whatever we can to support them. The Auxiliary has recently partnered with the Niche Committee and uh, to try and help the uh, geriatric patients in the hospital with some very specific things. Um, first of all, we fund a wish list that is submitted to the Auxiliary and that wish list uh, contains requests such as pocket talkers, um, chair alarms, eyeglasses, hearing aid batteries. We fund a container called a great kit and in that kit there are crossword puzzles, pens and paper, uh, playing cards, col adult coloring books, anything, a, a number of different items that would help patients uh, pass the time if there are patients in, in the hospital for any length of time. In addition to that, we fund uh, something called a bedtime basket, which is used to help the patients relax and get comfortable and ready for sleep. I think one of the things that the volunteers have contributed more than anything else, are, uh, at least in this area, are some of the handcrafted items that are used by the patients. For example, the we have two groups of volunteers here. One is called the Hooks and Needles group, and they do things like knit baby caps and oncology blankets and all kinds of things for patients throughout the hospital. But more importantly, they also crochet busy squares, which for uh, patients who suffer from dementia, um, or delirium are sources of comfort to those patients because they are very textile, very textured, and uh, the patients, they have knobs and dips and areas where the patients can keep their hands busy. The other group that we have is called the Pinkies Group. The Pinkies are a group of volunteer ladies who come in to sew, and we make pillows, comfort pillows, that people can hold against their incisions after surgery. We also make what we call ear pillows or pressure pillows. Um, and uh, they serve as a, a barrier to bed sores when a patient is unconscious. And we also use those pillows to uh, comfort ostomy patients with a new ostomy. Because of our uh, collaboration with the Niche Committee, we now have a member of the Auxiliary that sits on that committee. We hope that the Auxiliary uh, will continue to be able to work closely with this committee and provide those items that the patients so badly need. I'm especially grateful for the relationship and partnership we have at El Camino Hospital with our Auxilians. We have seen really positive patient outcomes and really it's touched the lives of our patients. I wanted to share with you a letter that was read last year at our Enterprise Huddle. Two of our auxilians came and brought this letter with them. My mother recently passed away at your hospital. I wanted to thank you for all the caring that you gave to her. In the past years, my mother had dementia and could not really connect with us. I wanted to tell you something special that had happened. One of your staff brought a purple crocheted blanket to my mother. She held onto it tightly through her very last days. It gave her such comfort that we as a family decided to bury her with that blanket. As you can imagine, when this was read at Enterprise Huddle, there wasn't a dry eye. We really, really have a very special relationship with our auxiliary.